Hello Art Explorers, Miss Mary here, and today we're making a hot air balloon out of paper mache or a mosh posh. If you picked up a kit from the library, inside it you will find a Ziploc bag. Inside that there are three little um, containers and one larger container. The three little ones are paint. So that's just white paint, red, and yellow. That's for decorating our air, um, hot air balloon at the end. And the one that's a little bit bigger, that's our Mod Posh. So that's what we're gonna be using to glue the newspaper together. And then we've got a balloon and a piece of a toilet paper roll, a paper clip, a half, or two halves of a pipe cleaner a spongy paintbrush and newspaper. I'm also holding on to my brown bag that the kit all came in because I'm going to open it up and do my project on top of because this one gets a little messy. If you weren't able to get a kit from the library, these are just some things you'll need um, and you can follow along with us. If you picked up a kit from the library, the other thing you may need is a pair of scissors. Um, this will just be for when we pop the balloon at the end. All right, to get started, as I mentioned, I'm going to just rip open that brown bag. That way I have a space that I can do this on because like I mentioned, it's going to get a little messy. The next thing I'm going to do is find my balloon. Now you can blow it up as big or small as you would like your air balloon to be. The bigger you make this balloon, um, you know, the more glue you're going to need, the more newspaper you're going to need. If you make it a little bit on the smaller side, it might be a little bit easier. Um, but I, I did practice it with blowing it up all the way and it is still doable, so it's really up to you. So you're gonna blow that up. Okay, so for this one I blew it up about half the size it could be. Um, I feel like it's gonna just be a little bit easier on myself. So, like I said, you can blow that up however you want. And once you do that, you are gonna get that newspaper out so I'm just going to set the balloon off to the side for a moment and I'm going to take my newspaper. So I'm taking like a full sheet of newspaper and what I'm going to do is just rip it right down the middle. <clears throat> and then I'm going to fold it in half long ways. From there I'm going to fold it down so I'm making like nice long strips and then I'm going to turn it over and fold it again so they're all just these long strips and then from there we're just gonna rip it down that line and it's okay if it's not exact Okay, and then remember that other piece that we set along uh, off to the side? I'm going to do the same thing to that, so I'm going to fold it in half. Okay, then I'm going to take another piece of paper. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing, I'm going to rip it down the middle, fold it in half, fold it in half, and fold it in half. But this time, I'm going to rip it, see how I have it nice and long? 
I'm going to rip it in half and then rip it down so then they're half sheets and I'm going to make a different pile with those. I'm gonna start with that. If you have more newspaper, you're welcome to rip a couple more sheets if you want. You could do the same thing. Do one sheet, the long strips, the next sheet, the short strips. Um, or you could just stop here with me and we can start gluing these onto the balloon and then you could see how many more you need. Um, and if you run out of newspaper, um, you could always use other paper or a different uh, newspaper if you need to. All right, so now we have our newspaper ripped up. We will need to grab our balloon again. And then from that Ziploc bag, you're gonna find the bigger container. And that has our glue in it. It's called Maj Paj. So with that, and we're gonna need our um, spongy paintbrush. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is open up that little container. Now, as we start doing this, you could always add a little bit of water to this if you feel like you're running low. Um, I don't have quite a lot of room to start off with, but when I get about halfway, I might add some water just to make sure I get enough. The other thing you could do if you run out, you could always use Elmer's glue or like a white glue. Um, and just water it down. So I'm going to set that off to the side. Now remember we have a lot of room to cover and we have a lot of paper to glue on here. So you don't need too much. I don't want to gob it on because I want to make sure I have enough. So I'm just going to use a little bit at a time as I start this. So. To make sure the newspaper sticks to the balloon, I'm going to start by just adding a little thin layer straight to the balloon. And this is definitely where I don't want to put too much because it's going to stick to the balloon. So when we pop it, it's going to um, cave in a little bit just because it's stuck to it, but we'll be able to poke that part back up. Okay, from there. I'm going to grab one of my long sheets, stick it on, and just push it down. And then this long sheet is going to keep going. So I'm going to go a little bit further so it has something to stick to. And I'm going to stop at the very top of my balloon. Then I'm going to come to the top and actually put glue, or the mosh posh, over the top. This is the part, like I mentioned, it's going to get a little messy, but that's okay. All right, and then I'm going to grab a short part and put it over the part I just glued and over the newspaper and then push it down so it also sticks on the balloon. And again, I'm just taking more glue, covering that up, pushing it down, making sure there's glue underneath. And then I'm going to cover the whole thing. Okay. And uh, just going to do that again. 
Since I haven't been over to this side yet, I'm putting new glue on straight onto the balloon. This time I'm gonna grab a long strip and see when I put this on though, there's gonna be some holes and that's okay. So first I'm gonna worry about this strip I just put on. And then this is where I'm gonna put another half sheet. So I'm just going to get glue on this first or the Mod Podge, whatever you're working with. Make sure it still stays nice and thin so we have enough to go all the way around. Okay, and if part's already dried, you might have to add a little bit more glue somewhere if you haven't been back to that spot in a little bit. And then I'm gonna grab one of those half sheets and I'm gonna stick it on there to cover up any gaps. I'm gonna hold it at the top, kind of push down those bubbles. This is when we're really gonna to wanna to start smoothing out those strips when we put them on. And then again, I'm gonna do a nice thin layer over that. Now remember, we have only so much glue and only so much newspaper that came with the kit. So I suggest going around and covering everything first and then you could always go back and do a second layer um, to really get all those bubbles, but we do wanna make sure there's no holes. So I just don't wanna be able to see the balloon. Um, but if you feel like, like I would love to put another strip right here, but I might wait until the end just to make sure I have enough to do that. So I'm just gonna keep moving this way. And if you have Elmer's glue or some sort of white glue at home, you could also just use that once you run out and you could do a couple of layers of the newspaper if you would like to. Okay, so for this one, I'm gonna do another short piece. And again, I'm kind of pushing down those little bubbles. And I'm gonna go across the top with a little bit to smooth it down. And there is a lot that gets stuck in the spongy part of the brush. So sometimes I just push it a little bit and you can see that there's a lot in here so I don't even have to dip right now. I just keep pushing and making sure I'm using up all of it. Okay, so now we're starting to get to the part where our long strips actually reach all the way around where we're gonna do next. So I'm going to make sure I get glue all the way to where I stopped glue before and all the way through this little strip that I know that this paper is gonna touch. Going all the way down. Perfect. So there's a couple overlapping layers down here that haven't all been glued down because I haven't gone back to the top yet. So once I glue this, I think I'm gonna concentrate on that. So this strip is down from one of our first ones that we put down and I'm making sure I get glue underneath all those other pieces of paper that are up there not glued down yet.
All right, then I wanna re-come back to the very top. So now everything is covered. I don't have any holes. I have a couple parts that are open um, and I just need to fold them down and get some glue in there. And I just wanna make sure the top looks okay. So I might throw one more and depending on how much glue you have left or the Maj Paj, um, I'm going to put some glue down. I'm gonna put it right in the middle. And this just helps smooth out the top. So I had a lot of edges that ended at the top. So I just wanted it to kind of finish the top. And then I didn't finish putting glue all the way down, so I gotta make sure I put that. So this new newspaper that I just, uh, this new strip I just put on um, has somewhere to stick to. And again, I'm just gonna make sure all the folds are down. Oh, I did forget to mention when I was halfway, I did mean to put some water in here. So if your balloon is bigger, you might need to um, mix some water in as you're getting toward the end. But since I made my balloon about half size, I actually am gonna have the perfect amount um, to kind of get through this. Um, so I didn't add water yet to mine, but you can do that as you go and as there's room in your little um, dish for that. And you just have to mix it up with your brush um, and just make sure it all kind of gets mixed together evenly. I'm not gonna worry too much about this part of the balloon, like where the end is, because I'm gonna cut that and make it nice and um, even once it's all dry. So I'm gonna leave it like that. And then for the rest of this strip, I'm just gonna put more of this on so it has something to stick to. Okay, so if you have more glue or more no newspaper, you are welcome to kind of keep putting a couple more layers on your balloon. Again, the main thing you wanna do is make sure that there are no points where you can see the balloon, because that will be a hole later. And if there's any points that have like a lot of these bumps that you can't get, you can't fold down, and you have more of that stuff, you could just put a strip over it. Okay, so once that looks good, definitely gonna have to wash my hands. And there's a couple things you can do. You could just find a spot to set your balloon, just leave it on the paper so it could dry. Um, you do have a paper clip. If you need to hang it up, you can unfold the paper clip and stick it through just the end of your balloon, not where the air is, but in after you tied the knot. And you can hang it up if you need somewhere um, that you don't have anywhere on a table or something you could keep it, you could hang it like that. But don't get rid of the paper clip because we're gonna need that later. And then you're just gonna let this dry. I think this probably needs at least one or two days to dry fully, depending on how much water you did mix with the glue or the Mosh Posh and how much glue was in there. Um, so it's just better to wait and make sure it's fully dry so that way when you pop the balloon, it doesn't um, destroy your, your um, hot air balloon. So I'm gonna let that dry for a couple days and then the next step is gonna be decorating it. So I'm gonna set that off to the side. We're gonna let that dry. And at this point, if you have some more newspaper or some more glue, you can also Mod Podge your toilet paper roll. I have this a part. little basket and see how the bottom is now covered. All right, so I'm gonna let both those things dry for at least one full day, if not two or three. Um, and then once that's dry, then you could start the rest of this video. Um, so as we clean up from Maj Pajing our balloon um, with the Maj Paj and the, or the glue and the newspaper, the other um, part you wanna make sure is you keep your spongy brush, unless you have some paint brushes at home but you could just wash it with soap and water and that glue will come right out and you could just let that dry until your balloon is also dry for painting. If you have paintbrushes at home, 
um, you you can just throw the sponge brush out too if um, if you have those. Okay, so I did throw away my brown bag because there was so much glue on it. Um, but for painting today, I'm just going to put some newspaper down. But if you have anything that you want to put down on your surface before you break out all the paint, you're more than welcome to do that. I also washed my brush so I can use it today. So the next part is um, I'm just going to paint everything white. That way I'm covering up the newspaper and then you could decorate it any way you want. So I'm just putting a nice coat of paint on all of this. If you do want the white to make your decoration, um, then you could just go straight ahead and start decorating your hot air balloon too. You don't necessarily have to paint it white like I'm doing. It's just um, so that way the yellow and red paints will show up better if we do this. But it really just depends on what kind of design you're trying to do. All right, if you're doing exactly what I'm doing by putting just a white coat on it first, I wanna touch the hot air balloon, make sure it's not sticky, make sure there's no glue anywhere. Um, and the other thing is I'm gonna leave my balloon um, uh, full. I'm not gonna pop it just yet. I'm gonna do the white paint first. The main reason for that is as I'm painting, the balloon inside kind of gives it a little more structure and when the balloon's not there and I'm painting it does sometimes get dented so I just think making that first layer of paint is easier just to do it with the balloon inside still so I'm just gonna get a little bit of paint at a time and cover up all that newspaper This one might be one where you have to paint half and let it dry and then paint the other half unless you're able to hang it somewhere. But if not, you might have to let that one side dry so you don't have to set it on the paint. So sometimes when there's little bumps or when we had to fold it over, it's easier to kind of dab your brush so it gets in all those textured areas but then once you do that then you could go over it and smooth it out unless you like how the dabs look then you can leave them it gives it a little bit of texture but I found it's a little bit easier to paint the the little bumps and nooks and crannies with a little bit of a bounce to your brush so I'm going to paint everything except the top so that way I have somewhere to set it until this part dries. So I'm just going to paint all of that. Okay. While I'm letting that dry, I'm going to get some white paint on my little basket too. That way I'm just covering the newspaper. And then since I'm painting the bottom, I'm just going to set it upside down to dry. Now again, if you have somewhere to hang this, you can keep painting. So I'm going to I I'm going to hang mine so I'm going to just turn it like this so I can paint the top. Okay. So once I've got all the white paint on and it, I do have somewhere to hang it, so I'm going to use my uh, paper clip again. I'm going to um, feed it through the end part of the balloon because I don't want to pop the balloon yet. I'm just going through the part after the knot so I can hang it and it can dry. While we're letting that dry, again if you want to wash your paintbrush that way it is not dried out when you go to paint your other colors. And if you have other colors too, you don't have to paint it yellow and red. You can mix them together and make just a straight orange, or you could do spots or stripes. Um, you could really decorate it any way you want, and if you have paints at home or other paintbrushes, you're welcome to use those. But since I put the layer of white on, I'm going to let those dry. I'm probably going to give it another day. Um, these are um, tempera paints or acrylics. 
acrylics do dry really fast so it might be dry in a couple hours I'll check back but if not I'm just gonna wait a day and make sure that I don't okay so I just realized that you couldn't see what I was doing as I was painting sorry about that but there really wasn't anything you were missing I just put a coat of white paint all over and again I did it all the way to the bottom because I I put the um, paper clip through the top so I can hang it so it could dry but I just painted it all white and then this is to show you that um, the balloon is still full and inside um, I didn't pop it yet and where I put the paper clip through is after the knot so that way it doesn't affect the air that's in there and then I also did paint the little basket on the bottom so then I just have it turned over so that's drying all right art explorers now that my balloon has the Maj Paj newspaper that was fully dry the other day I put my layer of white paint just to cover everything that way it will make it easier to paint uh, different colors on top of and the white paint is all dry because I did that the other day too so at this point we want to if you ended up using the paper clip to hang it I'm going to take that out because we're going to need that in a little bit and I'm going to find a pair of scissors um, you can ask an adult to help you with this now if you want it to pop like crazy that's up to you but I like to just cut it a little bit so the air slowly leaks out I think that's going to help because remember we did glue the newspaper to the balloon so if it popped really quick it might dent our balloon a little bit harder to just push it out and re to undent it um, so I'm just going to take it I'm going to go all the way to where the knot is and I'm just going to very carefully cut into it just enough You can hear it letting go of the edges. Oh, it broke off inside, but that's okay. You can either leave it in there or we're going to cut this hole to make it a clean cut. So see how I cut this one. And when you do that, you might be able to reach inside with your hand. So my balloons inside, that's okay. Cause remember we did glue it. So it was probably just stuck on that part. But if you look, there was no dents. So that worked out well. Okay. At this time, you could take your paintbrush and your yellow and red. And for my example, I painted stripes. So I just took, I did the yellow first. And I did all the stripes on each side of what I wanted the yellow, where I wanted the yellow to be. And then I let the yellow dry. And then I went with my red and I painted the red stripes. You could do dots, you could do hearts. Um, if you have other paint at home, you could use other colors. Um, these are just acrylic paint. These ones are washable, um, but you can kind of use anything you want to decorate that. I'm sure even markers would work um, too, so you're welcome to do that as well. Just because uh, if I painted this now, I would have to wait another day before I showed you the next step. So I'm not going to paint my example because I want to show you how to finish off the hot air balloon. But at this time is when you would decorate yours. Okay, so once your balloon is all decorated the way you want it, and it's all dry from doing that. Oh, you could also paint the little um, basket. You can mix a little bit of a tiny bit of red and a little bit of yellow, and you can make an orangey color and paint that. Or like I said, you could paint it any color you want, or if you have a marker, you can kind of color that too. So you'll need that for this next step. So I'm gonna take a pair of scissors, and I'm going to cut a slightly bigger hole and cut it so that way it's clean and not so jaggedy from all the ends of the newspaper. Perfect. It doesn't have to be too big. Again, if you want it a little bit bigger so you can reach in there if you need to get that um, balloon. No, I can't reach it. I'm just going to leave it in there. All right. The next thing we're going to do 
is take our paper clip and I'm going to push it. I'm going to kind of unbend it a little bit and I'm going to about an inch up. I'm going to push that through to make a hole just like that. And then I'm going to take one of those pipe cleaners and push it through there. And just enough where I can bend it and see the end right there to twist around there. So I'm just making two pipe cleaners that are going to be holding the basket up. So that's one side. And then I'm going to go on the opposite side and do the same thing again. About an inch up. Push that through, bend it, and then twist around, okay, and then on my basket I'm going to figure out which side I want the front to be, which side the back, and then whichever is the front, you can hold that so you can see it, and I'm going to poke another hole. This one's going to be a little hard because it's the paper towel roll. There we go. And on the opposite side of that. Okay. Then I'm going to do the same thing. Push that through. Just enough up where you could twist it around so it holds it tight. And the other side. All right, so we got our basket on. Now the last part is a little tricky, so there's a couple ways you could go about it. If you could reach your hand in, you can kind of just push the paper clip up through the top. I'll show you this one. And that way, see how it comes through here? So you can hang it. Um, if you don't want the paper clip up there to hang it from, you don't have to add this part. This is just if you need something to hang it with. So what I did is I, again, used the paper clip to kind of poke a hole at the very top. Okay. See it right there? And then I went a little bit over and poked another hole. And then I moved my paper clip around so I could get it up and through that other side. When I did it on the other one, I was able to reach in. In this one, I can't. Oh, look who decided to fall out. Um, the other way you could do it, if you can't really get in there and if you put this in and just hang it, um, if that doesn't stay, you could always hot glue this to the top. You could tape it to, you could try a couple different ways if that's not working for you. Also, if you already have the hole, you might be able to string something else through if you have an idea of where you're going to hang this. Um, but you got the paper clip in case that works for you. All okay, right. well thank you so much. Again, before you did all those extra things that I just showed you with adding the pipe cleaner and the paper clip, you would have decorated your balloon, so yours probably looks a little bit more finished like this one once you put this stuff on. And if you would like to, um, you are welcome to take pictures of your hot air balloon and send it to the library via our Facebook or email us. I would love to see how different they're all going to be. I hope you had fun exploring some art with me today.
and until next time, goodbye.